Hey everyone, and welcome to Friday Maker Night at the Ajax Public Library. My name is Carly, and I am so excited that you were able to join us today for this special YouTube Friday Maker Night. Uh, so today we're going to be making a couple of different crafts that all have the theme of monsters. So this is, of course, mostly because it's spooky season. We have Halloween coming up, which some of you might celebrate uh, when we get to see lots of monster decorations out in the world. And I thought we'd try making some of our own together. So the first one that we're going to make is pom-pom monsters. And for this, you're going to need a pom-pom. You probably guessed that. Some googly eyes, ideally ones that will fit on your pom-pom. At least one pipe cleaner. So I have one right here. And I'd better get my instructions ready to make sure I'm doing everything right. Here we go. You'll need a pair of scissors. And you will need cardboard or cardstock or foam or something else that's a little bit firm. So those are your materials. Oh, I forgot one. You'll also need glue. And I have a, a hot glue gun that I'm going to be using. Um, you can also use white craft glue, but a hot glue gun is probably going to work the best. So step one is going to be to cut out a circle or another shape from your cardboard or cardstock or foam. And this is going to be your monster's feet. So it should be a little bit bigger than your pom-pom. So I'll need a good sized circle for this big pom-pom that I've picked out. My circle may look a little wonky because I didn't draw it on the cardboard ahead of time, but that's okay. I don't mind that for a monster craft. So here is my circle. Let me make sure that it's actually bigger than my pom-pom. Yep, looks good. So my next step, um, you can decorate this if you'd like to. I'm just gonna go ahead with my next step since I'm just demonstrating for all of you. Our next step is going to be to glue the pom-pom onto the shape that you just cut out. So I'm going to put my hot glue in kind of a circle shape right in the middle here. Hope you can see that. And I'll stick my pom-pom right on top of that so that hopefully it will stay. This will need a minute to dry before I do anything with it. All right. So the next step is going to be to give our monster um, feet or arms or antennae or whatever you would like to make using the pipe cleaner. So I think I'm going to cut out two kind of longer pieces to use as arms. So here I've got kind of a, a medium sized piece of pipe cleaner. I'm going to roll up the end so it looks a little bit like a hand. And I'm going to do the exact same thing a second time. So I'd like for my pom-pom monster to have two arms. This one's a little shorter than the other one. Again, that's okay. Nice thing about monsters is they all look a little different, just like people. All right, I think I'll be a little bit boring and only give my monster two arms, but you can give yours as many as you would like. I'm going to add some hot glue onto my pom-pom where I want the arms to go. So there's one. And I will stick my arm on. I'm going to make kind of a bend on one side so that it has something that'll stick a little bit easier. There's one. Looks almost like a tongue, doesn't it? Maybe I'll just leave it like that, actually. So I have changed my mind. Instead of doing two arms that look like this, I'm noticing that look, this looks a little bit like a lizard's tongue. So I'm going to leave it right where it is so that it sticks out. Next, yeah, because I'm done with my pipe cleaner, the only thing left to do is add one or more googly eyes. Again, you can put on as many or as few as you want. I think I might use one of these great big ones because I think that'll look pretty fun. So again, I'm gonna take my glue, my hot glue gun in this case, I'm gonna add some glue to my pom-pom where I want the eye to go. 
I'll put it right above the tongue here. Can you see that? <laughs> and I'm going to stick the googly eye onto it. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> and here's my pom-pom monster. So this is a really easy one to do as long as you have glue and other supplies that you can stick onto your monster. I'm really excited to see what all of you end up making. So please feel free to share that with us on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. But before you go, we have a second craft to do together. So this second craft is called flat monsters. That's what I like to call them anyway. Uh, and for this, you will need five or six popsicle sticks. Mine are already colored, you can see they came like that. You can also use plain popsicle sticks and just paint or draw on them yourself, no problem. You'll also need a couple of pipe cleaners, and I've got three for this craft just in case. And you will need tape. Where have I put my tape? I think. I will need to get my tape. Hold on for just one moment. All right, I'm back. I have my tape. My instructions say to use painter's tape, but I think normal tape should also work as well. That's what I'm going to use. And your first step to make flat monsters is going to be to line up your popsicle sticks so they kind of make a square shape. I'm gonna try to show you what this looks like just by holding them in my hands, but uh, it won't stay together very well unless I have it on a flat surface. So this is sort of what I mean when I say to line up all the popsicle sticks beside each other. We want one square shape. So I'm gonna put these down on a flat surface so I can line them up a little more steadily. And I will then make a big X across all of them using my tape. And I will hold this up for you to see as soon as it's done, don't worry. So you'll need probably a pretty big piece of tape. You see why I had to make sure I had some. <laughs> all right, there's one. And I'm gonna take a second piece of tape because we need an X shape. Here's my second piece. I'm gonna put it across the first one. Perfect. So I'll hold these up for you to see. I have got an X going across this, one piece of tape like this, the other piece of tape like that, and it's holding all of the popsicle sticks together. See how I don't have to hold each of them anymore? And this is gonna be basically the body for the monster that I'm going to make. Um, so I'm gonna use my pipe cleaners to give my monster hands and feet. So I might use, let's say, this arm that I made for my pom-pom monster that I did not get to use. And I'm gonna make a matching arm from this purple pipe cleaner. Get some different colors going. I'm gonna do the same thing where I twist the end into kind of a, a ball shape. And to attach these, you can use glue. Um, tape is probably the easiest thing though because you've already got it out. So, I'm gonna take my monster. This is the back, the side that will not have the face on it. I'm going to put my pipe cleaner on there on the back side and tape it so that it's gonna poke out. And I'll show you what I mean. So see how on the back side you can see the pipe cleaner taped halfway across? When I flip it around to the front, the arm just sticks out. So it looks like it's coming from the pipe cleaners. I'm gonna do the same thing with the other arm. Get a piece of tape. Put the other arm across from the first one and use the tape to attach it. So on the back, you can see both the arms and on the front, you can see them sticking out. I think I'll also give this monster some feet and why not? I'll use my third color, my yellow here. I'm gonna cut off a good length of pipe cleaner and a second one. I'm gonna put a bend at the bottom of each one so that we kind of have a foot shape. 
or it looks a little like a hockey stick. And I'm going to do the same thing two more times, taping each of these pipe cleaner pieces to my monster. See that? There's the back. Here's the front. One more time with our last leg. Here's the back and here's the front. So the last thing I have to do is give my monster a face. First things first, I will put on some googly eyes. You can use tape for this. What I'm going to use myself is hot glue because I find that works a little bit better with things like popsicle sticks and googly eyes where both things are kind of resistant to tape, right? These might stick out a little bit if I use tape. And I'm gonna put three googly eyes onto this monster. So I'll take my hot glue gun, take my monster, and I'll put a dab of hot glue in each place I want a googly eye to go. Let's see if I can show that to you. See, there's three dots there. Oops, and I'm gonna put an eyeball on each of them. One, two, and three. Perfect. Last thing to do before I show you the finished product is I will give it a smile. You can of course give yours any kind of facial expression you want. But I like that mine looks a little friendly. And here we go. Here is my flat monster. So these are our crafts for today. We've got our pom-pom monsters and our flat monsters. They'll be really fun, I hope, to have around your house this Halloween season. Um, we have a PDF on our website that you can use for step-by-step -step instructions on both of these. Uh, just go to ajaxlibrary.ca slash events and find today's date and you will find the instructions. Um, there's also in that PDF an act uh, instructions for an activity that you and your family can try out together. And I hope we'll see you next month. We have Friday Maker Nights normally on Zoom twice a month, and we have some really fun themes coming up for November and December. So I hope you will keep an eye out for our November, December What's On coming soon. In the meantime, happy making, have fun, and we'll see you next time. Thanks, everyone. Bye.